Hi everyone, I hope you had a great day so far. So I have some good news for me. Um, So tomorrow is my last day of school. So I'm thinking I'm posting just as regular. And yeah, well, I hope you all have a great summer. And let's continue chapter 17 of Ways to Make Sunshine. Chapter 17, What Brothers Do. Be who you... Be who we named you to be, Dad says to Ray before we leave for school the next day. I am still not used to Dad going to sleep while everyone else is waking up and getting ready for the day. Just before he goes into his room, he says, You two are brother and sister. You take care of each other no matter what. You hear me? Yes, sir, Ray says. Ryan, I'm talking to you too. Yes, sir. We leave for school and we are quiet most of the way. I am the one who speaks first. I'm sorry about the hot sauce. Ray shrugs. It was kind of funny. You went a little overboard, though. My tongue still feels a little numb. We meet Kiki at her house to, and keep walking to school. When we get to Vernon, Ray goes to his classroom. Me and Kiki go to ours. It's a normal day. A good day, even, until Miss Barnes says to me, It's not that you can't cook for a talent show. It's just that you can't use a deep fryer here. Maybe you can make your elephant ears ahead of time and just do a demonstration for the judges. Clearly, Miss Barnes has never had elephant ears. They have to be served hot, straight out of the deep fryer so that all that buttery cinnamon goodness melts in the judges' mouths. A demonstration without the actual hot elephant ears won't be the same, I tell her. Well, is there something else you can make? Something that doesn't require a stove or oven or deep fryer? Cooking requires at least one of those. How about you make a nice, fresh salad? You can come up with something unique to add to impress the judges, can't you? A salad? I'll definitely lose if I make a salad. I tell Miss Barnes I'll think about it, and then I leave to meet Ray so we can walk home. Kiki has a doctor's appointment after school, so she's being picked up by her mom. As soon as I see Ray, I tell him what Miss Barnes said. I don't know what what else to do besides cook. I don't. I won't be able to participate in the talent show. Ray helps me brainstorm another talent to share. You know how to play the piano. Why don't you do that? I only know how to play hot cross buns and Mary had a little lamb. But you played him well, Ray says, and I know that is him trying to live up to his name, like Dad always tells him to. It's nice of him, and but I know my talent is not playing the piano. Not yet. What if you film yourself cooking at our house, and then you can show the video on a big screen? No one's ever used technology in their presentation. That's original. Ray reaches out to hold my hand as we pass the house with the barking dogs. He knows I'm afraid of dogs, even dogs behind the gate who can't get to me. He keeps on thinking up ideas for what I can do in the talent show. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I just want to think about it and come up with something on my own. But Ray is persistent. When we get home, he insists on me trying out recipes that I could do at school. After we eat dinner, Mom turns the kitchen over to us, only helping out when I call her... Okay, Ray says. What's something that you can make that's quick and tasty and doesn't require an oven, stovetop, deep fryer, or grill? At first, I can't think of anything that would be good, but then I remember that Amanda really likes the smoothie I made her. Miss Barnes didn't say anything about a blender. I can make my blackberry lime extravaganza. Amanda's name for it was the perfect name after all. Ray doesn't help, but he does give suggestions. You should, have a, you should add a vegetable. Adults will like that, and all the fourth graders will be impressed if it still tastes good. Spinach. I can add spinach. I learned that spinach is good for you, and when it's in smoothies, you can't even taste it. I make this smoothie, but the spinach makes the texture a little weird, so I dump it out and try again. Only mom comes in and fusses at me for wasting food. But mom, the whole point is to experiment and try things out. Well, make less next time and keep an eye on the clock. It will be bedtime soon. I try again. Ray and I drink it all, but it doesn't taste that great. Not enough honey. 
Plus, the spinach makes the color too green. It's not that bad, Ray says. It's not that good either. Ray laughs, and then I laugh too, and the two of us sip and giggle until we are at the end of our smoothies. I don't have any talent, I say. I'm not good at anything. You're good at lots of things. It's just that the things you're good at aren't so easy to put on a stage, Ray says. You're good at helping and being nice to people and sharing, even with me when I'm getting on your nerves. Ray slurps his drink, making the most obnoxious loud sound. I slurp mine too, and without even meaning to, we make a rhythm, and once we realize that we keep it going and have a whole song happening made from our straws slurping and tapping the glasses. Mom calls out that it's time for bed, but we keep our song going a little longer. Ray stops slurping and starts freestyling while I keep the beat going, the last part of his rhyme is about me. Ryan's got talent that matters most. She doesn't boast. Her talent is the best, better than the rest. Reinhardt's got heart. Her cooking is art. Her talent can't be seen. She's nice, not mean. Ryan's got talent that matters most. That is the end of chapter 17. I hope you liked it, everyone. Please subscribe if you haven't. And um, please share this video and turn on notifications so you can be alerted whenever I post a new video. Have a great summer, everyone.